Good. Right, next up, our next sponsors of the um, Community Miles for Sickle Cell Sponsored Walk this year is the African Empowerment, sorry, the African Heritage Wealth Empowerment Program, otherwise known as Gift Genius, and we have Mr. Phil to please tell us again. I wasn't expecting to say anything today, but when Queen Eagle, I felt like Queen Eagle. Yeah. When she says, say something, I felt like... Now, I don't know if anyone can sense in the air right now, there's something really powerful happening. Yes, yes. Especially, like the gentleman said about the Afrocentric, that we've got to see things from our perspective. We've got to, we've got to, we've got to deprogram ourselves from so many things that are holding us back. Now, I've been in marketing for so many years. And like everyone in this room, you have your own goals, you have your own ideas, you have your own skills, you have your own gifts, you have your own... Do you get what I'm saying? And one of the things that every one of us will have in common, and I love what Samantha is doing, she has a beautiful way of bringing everybody together. Regardless of wherever you're coming from, and I don't know whether you can see that thread going through. But whatever dreams you have, whatever plans you have, there's always two things that you will need. And you know what those two things are? Time and money. All these things that we're doing, they're powerful things. However, one of the things that is important before you can support somebody, guess what? You've got to be in a position to support somebody. You got to say. So Gift Genius came from me many years being in the industry of teaching people how to generate income. And I've been in that industry, worked for, again, like you said, the European-centric companies. I've worked for big companies that, when I, I used to do presentations for them, and I used to say, this company is the biggest company, company on earth, you know? And I, I used to boast to people that I just go on Google because I was working uh, with City, City Group then. And City Group was actually number one or number two in the world. I was marketing for them and I thought, man, yeah. And I was getting my community. I was selling insurance and I was good at it. And people came to my meetings and people loved my meetings and everything was popping. I was like, yeah. The program. <laughs> and here I was with over 800 people marketing the most unsexy product on earth. <laughs> but we made it sexy. Yes. Yeah. Excuse the language, really fun. Do you hear what I'm saying? You know? But they pulled the carpet under mm. our foot. And I think I met Sam after that. And we did another company, and we used our, um, you know, get up and go, our creativity, and we built for this company. And again, they messed us up. It happened to me three times. And the fourth time I went to South I'm like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> let's do it for ourselves now. Let's do it for ourselves now. And I thought about it. I said, what? I don't have. How can I do a? City Bank, how can I do a, you know, and she said, no, let's do it for ourselves now. We, can, we have to stop doing for these people. And then I went, and I said, yes, we have to, because we're using our creativity to build things for these people. Mm -hmm. So give genius, I've got, you're actually the first people to see, you know, this. Um, and in there, <laughs> it's explaining a concept that every one here can use. Who would, who here can use some extra income? Who here would like to have a lifestyle where you don't have to worry about the bills? <laughs> that when you look at the bills like that way, rather than, oh no, where will I get the money? You look at it and say, is that old? Don't worry, you know. We all deserve that. And the good thing is 
that we think genius. We want to support you as you support these causes. Because you want to support our legacy, you want to support more knowledge, so you want to support ACA, and you want to support all these things. But guess what? You need to have first. And why not? We've got everything in our community. And Give Genius basically is a program that is designed to basically lift all of us up together and using our resources, using our network. Okay. So I know now that I've said all that, there are many questions in the room. But today we normally have Give Genius meetings where we explain how the program works. Some of you have been there. I'm not going to explain that today. Okay. But we're going to let you all know. Um, if you have, like, uh, Legacy has asked you and other people have asked you, if you have a program, we've designed Give Genius to basically help you raise income for yourself and for your program. Okay? We're going into Africa. Okay? One thing I love about Give Genius today is that we've designed it that nobody can stop us, literally. Sometimes you want to do something, but there are barriers to entry. You don't have the capital. We design this, that this does that doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you want to do something, but the powers that be can stop you and say no. But guess what? With Digitals, we designed it um, that you know it can work anywhere. Like you know, the partner, when our forebears came to this country, they came to this country and they found that accommodation was hard. They had to go to the Jewish land to rent rooms and stuff like that. But with the partner, they came together. Do you get what I'm saying? So this is something like that, that coming together where no one can really stop us, except us. And that's what Gift Genius is about. So this is almost like my gift to our community. And the genius in it is that we're going to be unstoppable with this. Okay? On that note,
So together with the 150,000 thereabouts and the 285, we were able, as shareholders, to buy the pub freehold. So now, whoever is a shareholder, and you can still become a shareholder, by the way, it's 50 pounds. Oh. Uh, sorry, yes, 50 pounds to be a shareholder. And you own a bit of a Tottenham pub. So um, this is very fitting for me because I've, I've been working, well I volunteered, it's all volunteered by the way, it's not paid. Um, and I volunteered, um, I, 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 suffer, I, have, I suffer from mental is, uh, issues, I've got mental, uh, medical issues, well it does affect me mentally as well, I, I suffer from chronic fatigue. So that is a, a condition where it affects your memory, your, your bones and, and you know it's quite, uh, it can be quite severe. You can be, um, um, but bed bound. Luckily, I'm not um, that way. Uh, you know, I've had quite a lot of treatment, so I'm very in tune with some of the sufferers here. I, I know what you go through when you can't come out of bed, when you, you don't want to do anything. So I'm very, I empathise with everybody here, and I'm not as severe as some of you may be, but I just sympathise. Um, so I was really. Homebound, that bedbound for three months. I couldn't walk, and I decided I wasn't going to let this beat me. I was going to, I was going to get out. I was, I couldn't go out. I was frightened about opening the door. One day I decided I was going to go out, and I put one foot literally in front of the other because I was walking on all, on all fours by, for three months. I couldn't walk, and I decided to just go and have a walk. And then the, this is where I saw a banner in the, near the park, where it's cast apart, to say, "We want to save this." Um, we want to save this pub and I thought, goodness me, I can do something because I, my background, I'm a teacher and a manager in a local college, I had to, I had to take early retirement because of my illness. So I, you know, I'm, I'm very much, you know, I want to help people, I want to educate people, so I thought, you know 